Hey YouTube, Jay Kilroy here. Back for a little Feed the Monster. That's right, Feed the Monster. Check it out. We have an old tap and die set here from a company called Conant and Donaldson, spelled C-O-N-A-N-T. And it's Donaldson, no D, Donaldson. It's a company that was started in Conway, Massachusetts. Uh, if you go to Conway, Massachusetts now, um, they're pretty much in anything there but a state park and some trailers, right? Conway, Massachusetts hardly exists. A little bitty town. Um, Conway, Massachusetts, however, was the beginning of the uh, tool, precision tool industry in Massachusetts back in uh, the 1830s. I think 1834. The Conway Tool Company was formed. This is, I mean, 1830s. This is way before, um, way before the Civil War, uh, and uh, specialized in butcher's tools, not cutlery. Cutlery is low rate. Remember, butcher's tools is a whole other level of quality. Anyway, uh, that was formed in the 1830s in Conway, Massachusetts. It moved in the in around uh, closing in on 1850. Conway Tool moved to Greenfield, Massachusetts, and became the Greenfield uh, Tool and Die Company that we are all more familiar with. Uh, Conant and Donaldson also started in uh, Conway, Massachusetts, sometime uh, prior to 1900. Uh, and Conant and Donaldson was purchased in 1946 um, by the Threadwell Tool Company, which also owned uh, Greenfield and um, had purchased up a variety of tap and die manufacturers and was then purchased by Sheffield and uh, then eventually was purchased by Bendix and um, is now based in China. There you go. It's the death of manufacturing in the United States. Um, you want to see the death of manufacturing, go to Google Maps and look up Conway, Massachusetts. Check it out. Uh, there isn't so much as a big barn in Conway, Massachusetts. Much less, much less a place to start a thriving tool and die industry. Uh, manufacturing has been so completely thoroughly scrubbed from uh, that historical area that you can't even see a, um, uh, any evidence of it. During World War II, Conway was such an important place and Greenfield was such an important place and the manufacturers there uh, Remember, this is Conway, Threadwell, Greenfield, Conant and Donaldson, uh, uh, who was Riley what, Russell, um, just a, a whole bunch of companies that were making uh, precision tool and die, uh, uh, boring equipment, equipment that was used to make uh, bore rifle and cannon barrels were made there. Uh, these this area of uh, Massachusetts was so was considered so high priority that they had anti-aircraft batteries uh, now uh, They hardly have a sonic Anyway, we got a really nice piece here uh, in this Conant and Donaldson set. I'm gonna move the camera around We're gonna check it out uh, The patent date on this set is 1903 Conant, Conant and Donaldson's primary uh, product was the removable insert type die. Uh, I believe that they originated the removable insert type die prior to Greenfield, uh, uh, Wiley Russell, and all these other companies uh, adopting that type of design. I believe Conant and Donaldson were the originators of this design. This is the only set that I have from Conant and Donaldson. Um, so let's move the camera around and let's ooh and ah at the beauty 
of uh, America's lost manufacturing heritage. Um, right down here on the box, right down here, you can't see it, but there's a number. It says number 2006, one quarter, one half um, on the end of the box here. It's hard to make out. Uh, the type of the box, top of the box is reliable, uh, screw plate. Um, I think several different manufacturers made taps and dies for and were marketed under the name Reliable. There you go. Look at that. Um, nice label in the box here. Reliable screw cutting tools um, by Conant and Donaldson, Conway, Massachusetts. Um, and there are some directions on how to change the dies, that type of thing. Uh, the set is fairly complete. I am missing one half of the quarter by 28 insert. That will never be replaced, I don't think. It will ever be found. This tap is not a Conant and Donaldson tap. Um, the size is quarter by 20 and this is not original to the set. Um, all the rest of the taps are original to the set. All the rest of the inserts are original. Let me show you one of the dies here. Um, it says there, Conant and Donaldson, Conway, Massachusetts. Uh, Reliable, patented, January 27th, 03. Uh, and uh, here you have the, the back insert of the guide is actually case hardened. And then you have your inserts here. You can turn the inserts around so that the lead faces either direction, either back towards the guide or out towards the front. This piece here allows you to use this in a brace. And obviously in this configuration, you want the lead sticking out to the front. Uh, it says in the instructions that if you want to use this for a machine use, uh, then you want to hold it like so, and you want the lead facing out the guide. You want to tap from that direction. Anyway, it's a, a beautiful piece. This one here is a, a 7 16 by 14. So we've got five collets. We've got pretty much a full set of standard coarse and fine thread. But let's look at the color case hardening because I'm a sucker. I need background music for this, don't you think? I mean, I look at some beautiful color case hardening like this, and I mean, shoot, I need a glass of wine and a smoke. You know what I'm saying? Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Um, you can tell here that a piece of the insert here um, is missing. If I move this back, you can see that a piece of the insert is in there and that a piece is missing. So that may be a future project for us to replace the piece of that piece of insert. Um, they are removable. Um, little screw here, a couple of flathead screws allow you to remove these inserts. Of course, this piece, the brace piece itself, has a beautiful color case. 
absolutely stunning colors. Actually looks better, almost better on camera than it does in person. The camera brings out the blues. Absolutely beautiful. And then here we go. That's a 3 8 by 16 insert set there. And just beautiful. This end is threaded in here in order to hold the insert like so. Absolutely stunning. Um, the taps are uh, in very good shape and um, I'm pretty sure they're probably carbon steel uh, they're hand stamped this is a one half by 20 they're hand stamped with the size it's Conway Massachusetts Conant and Donaldson company um, the Conant Donaldson company was purchased in 1946 by uh, Threadwell, but uh, there is evidence that they, the name at least, continue to be used. Um, there's some um, uh, registrations of the Conant and Donaldson Company making um, F-15 parts up into the 90s. Uh, so who knows? Um, like I said, I've got a full set of inserts here, fine thread inserts. Um, 5 sixteenths by 24, kind of ironic. Uh, 3 eighths by 24, quarter by 28, only have one half of that. 7 sixteenths by 20. And half by 20. So this is the addition. Two, let me zoom in here and give you a little better shot of that label. Uh, this has been added to the collection. Uh, anyway, like I said, I don't really know, uh, don't really have a date on here except for the um, patent date, uh, 1903. So, there you go. Feed the Monster. Uh, got some more acquisitions coming in for the collection, so uh, look forward to that. Also, we're going to be doing some construction of some storage for the collection. The collection is reaching such a size that specialized storage is needed. So uh, you know you have a sickness when. I guess this would be like my equivalent of the Tom Lipton hammer rack. I'm going to have the J. Kilroy tap and die uh, case, tap and die set collection. So there we go. Be safe in the shop. Be back with you soon.